Logical thinking and an open mind is critical and key when watching these videos. We talk about metaphysics on this channel, so in case you didn't know, now you know. Tell me exactly what am I supposed to do Now that I have allowed you to beat me Do you think that we could play another game Maybe I could win this time I kinda like the misery you put me through Darling, you can't trust me
Hello everyone. Welcome to Sirius Center Temple Spiritual Network. Alright. So we have another video out for you guys. And it's dealing with the moon as the subject. And you know, I got questions. I got people asking me all kind of questions about the moon and stuff like this. And you know, I have subscribers hitting me up on different places and different platforms and asking me all kind of questions. And I think that I should answer some of these questions. So I wrote some of these questions down. So forgive me if I don't answer some of the questions that you may have. There's just so many people hitting me up all the time with uh, different requests and all kinds of videos that they want made. And I can't get to every single uh, comment or email, but I'm definitely going to attempt to. Okay. Um, you know, just trying to pump out content for you guys and, uh, you know, be aware that uh, we got a lot of things coming this year. A lot of chaotic situations happen that's going to be happening. And uh, like we said before, the world's never going to be the same. If you guys think that we're going back to normal, believe me, we're not. So, we're dealing with all this now. The situation of dealing with what we're dealing with. Okay. Alright. So... So, as you guys can clearly see, okay, so, you know, with that being said, you know, a lot of people are asking me all kinds of stuff, like for example, another question would be, okay, who is on the moon? Who, who is it that's on the moon? Uh, what, what exactly is going on with this um, planetary uh, structure? Are people, the Anunnaki, the Anunnaki or Anunnaki people are the ones that are inside the moon. Okay? That's who's in there. Okay? They've created very beautiful uh, scenery, cities, all kinds of stuff inside the moon. This is why you guys keep seeing videos of spacecrafts hovering on top of the moon or on the moon's surface and stuff like this. And people don't understand why. That's why y'all keep seeing that. Okay? All right. What is the moon made out of? See, yeah, it's made out of uh, 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 it's made out of plasma. That's why the moon has that glow that it's got. Okay. Now, there's other types of metals that the moon is made out of as well. Now, you know, these metals, right? These particular metals, we have them. We have portions of these metals inside our organs as well. Okay, because we are metallic, we are metallic in nature. Even the exoskeleton that we have around our skin, the carbon, that is made out of ext extremely precious metals that can be found all over the universe, dealing with different planetoids and stuff like this. But the thing is, is this, is that we're the only people that's made that way. And yes, and th these metals that the moon is made out of, unfortunately, it escapes me at the moment. I was doing further research and stuff like this and I was trying to figure certain things out, you know, and you know, Google, Google is going to lie to you every single time. Okay. They're not going to tell you what the moon is really made out of. If you search on Google right now and try to find out what the moon is made out of, they're going to lie to you. Okay. They're going to lie to you. Okay. But I do believe that the moon has, it's, it's got some, it's, it's, oh, I do believe it's got some white gold properties. I believe it has some titanium properties as well. And um, and silver as well. I do believe it has silver properties as well. Yes, it does. That that I am certain. Silver and titanium. Yes. Are the archons are the archons using the moon as a soul recycling base for the souls on the planet or the spirits? People have been hitting me up, telling me about the moon being the archon base as the moon being this type of place to where these demons, these, these, these archon minions of the Demiurge, he, that he sends out these minions to come onto the moon and to harvest souls. It's to harvest souls and stuff like this. And that, you know, they're, they're using, that they, they have an archon base on the moon and that they're recycling souls to come back down here. And that people that die in this matrix reality People that die here, they're they're getting recycled and coming back down here, and 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 they can never get out of here because they're supposedly trapped by the moon, the moon's glow and the moon's energy, 
end of the moon is somehow recycling these people to come back down here in a never-ending process of a 666. You know, they 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 shoving you back into a a, a a physical a physical vehicle, a physical body in a carbon dated matter world, and the, and and, and, for, and for you so called black people, it's a six 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 situation. They're putting you back in six protons, six electrons, six neutrons, bring you back down here, because they want to bring you back down here into a lower density. Is that true? Yes, they are. The yes, they are. Uh, uh, find they have found ways to try to help. Them to help each other to recycle souls down here, but but it's not the moon that's doing that. It's not the moon. Okay, they don't own the moon. We do. The moon is ours. That's why I keep telling people that yet not only can you sun gaze, but you can also moon gaze as well, because that that glow that's coming off the moon is plasma energy. Do you understand? No, the moon is not a soul archon recycling center. No, the moon is not a soul archon, soul recycling center. No, they're not using the moon for none of that. They wanted to set up bases on the moon to try to shoot down Nibiru when it's trying to come over here to try to pick everybody up and stuff like this. They did want to do that, but it was impossible for them due to the, envi the environment on, on the moon and not only the environment that's on the moon, but also the beings that live inside the moon, which is our Anunnaki people. And you have some other ones that live inside there also because they're friends with them and stuff like this. But the, ma the mass population that's in the moon are Anunnaki or Anunnaki people, our carbon dated people. They live on the moon. Okay. The moon is, it's, 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 the moon is a positive thing. People got the moon backwards, man. The, no, the Archons did not drag the moon here. And no, it's not a fake moon and all this other stuff. That None of that is true. No. Okay? All right? The moon has certain special properties in it that our planet and our people need. Okay? All right? Do you understand that? Okay? But they want to keep telling you that it's a harvesting base for the Archons. No, it's not. No, it's not. You have some of your archons that like to that they like to be around the dark side of the moon because they know you guys can't see them around that area. But other than that, the moon has nothing to do with them for the most part. All right. Why is there a pyramid on the moon? See again, and why is there a, a face mask on the moon and all this other stuff? You're starting to see pyramids on the because our people used to live on the surface of the moon. Believe it or not, the surface of the moon didn't always look the way that it looks now. And there are also ancient stories that the moon was actually a part of our planet here, Tiamat, or Kai. Yes, you heard what I said. There are ancient stories that the moon used to be a part of this planet and some kind of explosion went off when they were trying to um, build the planet up and stuff like this. And that the moon, the, the moon is actually debris tail or debris from the full version of Tiamat. The full version of Tiamat supposedly got uh, like broken apart and the moon became an external body apart from Tiamat or Kai. And that's why the moon has a direct corresponding relationship with, uh, with the Earth's, uh, what is it, um, uh, the Earth's um, um, magnetic pull with the, with, the, with the ocean waters is because the moon... They, it's also said that the moon actually came from those areas that you guys call the ocean and stuff like this. That's why in some cases, people say that the earth is actually bigger than the moon. It, it probably has a lot to do with the fact that the moon was pulled from the earth. Do you understand that? There's, there's a lot of stories, ancient stories about this that you guys are not getting. And there's, there's, a, there's, a, lot of scientific fa uh, there's a lot of scientific facts that point to the moon actually being a part of the earth at one point. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, and yes, when, when, when the moon got pulled from the earth, yes, the earth was, well, it was already hollow in the first place. But then, of course, you have these other beings that are highly advanced beings. They're going to fix the earth up and put it in, back into perspective. And that's why the earth, you know, it looks the way it looks. If you actually, um, if you don't know this, they tell you that the Grand Canyon and, and Mars, Mars has a canyon that looks exactly identical to the Grand Canyon. That's because you have planetoids getting so close to each other that at times, you know, the energies between two planets go back and forth. And sometimes 
certain types of like energies can uh sorry about that certain types of energies can actually um hit each each corresponding planet and if the energy was shaped a certain way when the planets were close together it can create things like a canyon or stuff like this and if it, and if the if the, okay for example if mars shot a certain type of energy toward the earth and they were too close to each other What's going to happen is that the energy that's coming off Mars is going to end up hitting the Earth and it's going to end up creating uh, an embedded indent. I don't know how you call that shit. It's an engraving on the planet. But the energy is going to go right back to Mars also, so it's going to end up creating the same engraving. You know when you engrave something in stone? Well, Mars and Earth, they have energy shooting back and forth against each other. So if it makes it, so if Mars makes an engraving on the Earth and turns it and turns that area into a canyon, wherever that energy is going, then the Earth is going to shoot that energy right back to Mars, and the Mars is going to get the same thing, because they're too close to each other. That's why, that's why we have the ability to move planets with our minds, people, to move them to different locations. This is why these orcs, these humans, these 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 human people that's here, that's not part of our carbon dated bloodline, you know, these white folks and all of them, these Arabs, these. These other people, that's why they're scared of us because they know that we're capable of much more than what we're, than what we're doing right now. Okay? Alright? And they know that eventually something's going to have to give and balance is going to have to be restored. So they're going to... They, 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 they see something coming. They're seeing something coming for this year. They're seeing something coming. Okay? Okay. Now. Okay. Did the Demiurge and the Archons create the moon? No, they did not. No, they did not. Our people created the moon. Just so you know. That moon that's out there is not no fake moon, nothing. That's the real deal. You understand that? It's not no fake moon. Okay? Alright. What is the blood moon about? What is the blood moon about? The blood moon is basically... You see how the moon gets red and all that? The, as the moon is taking all the information from Tiamat down here, right? And it's taking all that information, it's collecting all that information of all the slaughtering, all the butchering, the murders, the killings, all that stuff that's going on with our carbon dated people. All the all the lives that have been taken violently or in some type of way on the planet. The moon is recording that because the moon is control is the controller of all liquid forms on the planet, including our blood. Because our blood has certain types of minerals and metals that are in direct connection with the moon i told you all these planetary bodies like saturn and venus and all these other ones we have portions of those metals inside our blood and inside of our organs so these planets all have a relationship with us in some type of way we already told you that tiamat or kai created our people and we created Tiamat. We t created Tiamat and then Tiamat recreated us as, as, as well because we are walking forms of nature. And this is why I say we are a walking piece of art. As a people, we are art. Because think about it, when you see people painting and stuff like this, what they paint nature. And we are nature walking on two feet. And that's why I tell you what I tell you. So that's why I say, you know, you know, you guys, you know, you guys, uh, you guys walk around with a lot of pride and stuff like this is because you guys know that you you guys have an energy about y'all that you know that you're directly connected to something special, and this is why you guys do things like, you know, we 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 it's in our nature to care for ourselves in that way, okay? We are walking forms of nature, okay? We are we are a piece of art, like I said. When you see somebody painting something, they paint art, right? Well, we're art walking on two feet. The, we created the planet Tiamat or Kai, or Terra. The planet recreated us, so we are walking nature which means we are walking forms of art and this is why the gods took care of themselves and walked around with all that pride that they got because even they knew that they were nature okay okay the, the blood moon is dealing with all the forms of liquid on the planet even our blood because our blood has like i said before our blood has different minerals that's dealing with all the different planets like Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and all these other planets. We have different portions of metals inside our blood and inside of our organs. Our organs are, are radioactive organs. And this is why radioactive properties are very healthy and good and nutritious for our bodies. Our bodies want this stuff, people. 
That's why I keep saying get into meditation, all this other stuff. Here's the thing, though. Because our bodies are made in the way that they're made, we have direct relationship with the moon. The moon is taking in all that, all that information of all the people that's been killed up on the planet dealing with these orcs and these invaders that came here to kill up all of our people and all this other stuff. The moon is intaking all that information and then it's projecting all that information to Nibiru and then you have the you have the Lord himself jotting down all this information and the other higher beings are there watching and looking at all of the information that's being given from the moon. The moon is giving the direct information to the higher Elohim on how many people have been killed up on this planet. The debt that these orcs owe us, these humans have, the, the, the debt that these humans owe us and is at an astronomical galactic level that they could never pay us back for all the shit that they did. They have no idea what's coming for them. They think this is a damn joke. We not playing around around here. We're not playing around. Yeah, li listen, all those blood moons, they letting you guys know it's time to pay up in blood, in blood. You understand? That's what the blood moon is about. They jotting all that shit down. So when you got start having beings coming around here asking you humans, hey, did we give you permission to do this? Did, and you see them writing shit down. Did we, we give you permission to do this? No. And then they kill you right there. Understand. They're not playing around with you. Like they, these white folks are fucking crazy. A lot of these people have they have, they have the gall to come up, to, go to a black neighborhood and be like, "Excuse me, rent is due. You gonna pay me rent?" Like they rent? Are you fucking out of your mind? You don't own this land, motherfucker. Like that's why I'm saying that they 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 bugging the fuck out and they're about to pay for all the shit that they doing. That's what the blood moon is about, man. That's what it's about. Can you moon gaze as well as sun gaze? Yeah, I, I already told you guys this. And and, and I, also, another thing. I used to have a sun gazing video that was up. I don't know if YouTube took it down, but I'm going to have to remake that video because I don't see it anywhere. If anybody could find that sun gazing video, I would greatly appreciate it because I don't see it. Like, YouTube has, has been absolutely ridiculous, man. I don't know what the hell's going on. Or I'm just answering some questions that people got because, you know, people, are, you know, these are all questions that people have for me, you know, and I've been right trying to write some of this stuff down, you know, and, and people still going on about, you know, uh, the, 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 that the, 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 the moon is a soul recycling center. And I keep trying to tell people the moon ain't got nothing to do with that, people. The moon has nothing to do with that. Despite the fact that a lot of people are going to tell you that, mm -mm, that's not, that's, that's not, that's not it. That's not it. Okay. Did the orcs or the humans like white folks, Asians and all these other ones, Indians, you know, Arabs, Mexicans, all, all these people, did these people really land on the moon? Well, that would be impossible. The moon is made out of plasma energy, just like the, just like the, just like the, the, the sun. They can't land on neither one. They can land on Mars, though. They can land on Jupiter because even though these planetoids have some form of plasma in them, the surface is not comprised of plasma, so they can land on those. But the sun and the moon, that's a, that's a no-no. That's why the moon has the glow that it's got. That's why the sun has the supercharged glow that it has. Okay? All right, those, those two planetoids right there are, are a no-no for them. Okay, I mean the, the orcs they can't even go out in dark in dark, dark space because it'll kill them also. None of this stuff that's out here was made for them. They're trapped, man. They trapped on this planet here with us. They they fucked. Believe me, they fucked. And all those moon landing videos that you see of them jumping around and acting like they got wire cables attached to their body and stuff like that. They're on a set that they made to look like the moon. Like what the moon would look like on the surface and they jumping around and hopping around like idiots pretending as if you know you know they they you know nasa somehow made it to the moon and all this other stuff and trying to put up a freaking flag and all this other shit. that's bullshit that's all bullshit it's all fabricated it's all fabricated what is the dark side of the moon about what is that whole bit about the dark side of the moon 
is basically dealing with these archons that they like to hang around there because they know that we can't see them from that location. They know that we can't see them behind the moon. Okay? They know that we can't see them there, so they hang around there and they try to, you know, come up with all kinds of ideas and all kinds of plots and plans on how to fucking kill us down. Alright? They be they be organizing a lot of these spaceships in that in that location and they be trying to come up with all kinds of ideas on how to kill us and stuff like this. You know? Now, can 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 they land on the moon? The Archons, can they land on the moon? I highly doubt it. I highly if they have specialized suits that they can put on to be able to go on the moon, maybe. But I highly doubt it also because plasma energy will destroy the Archons as well. High powerful plasma energy like what we're talking about, planetoids and stuff like this. I I I highly doubt it, man. Um, is there an inner moon archon station? No, no. What, what y'all talking about? The, yeah, the moon is hollow, but it's, there's cities in there. Just like how inner Earth has cities like Agharta and all this other stuff. You have an inner moon situation where you have other cities and other kind of places and water and all kind of stuff, rivers and, and lakes and all kind of stuff down there that the An Anunnaki people have made very plentiful for themselves. Like the inner sun doesn't even look like what you would think it, it looked like. Is they you have beautiful cities and all kind of stuff inside the inner sun, but only we could go there, nobody else. Like I said, everything out here was made for us. It wasn't made for them, and it's and it's like that. And people could come and scoff and say whatever the fuck they want to say. I personally don't give a shit, okay? Because it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. All right, like we're directly connected to something. Okay, and we're trying to figure out what that is and all this other stuff. This is why they keep taking my videos down. This is why they keep doing what they're doing. This is why I'm getting all kind of threats and stuff like this from YouTube and all kind of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? They know what time it is. And this is why you can't even have free speech anymore. And when you talk about certain types of subjects, they have a problem with that. They have a problem with that. I will be making a sun gazing and moon gazing video as well. Okay, so you could properly do this stuff in the comfort of, you know, your own home or outside at the park or whatever it is that you're doing. You understand? Because both energies complement each other, the sun and the moon. And this is why you get your eclipses and stuff like this. The eclipse is not, is not about really blocking out the moon. It's about the moon. Gain, it's about, it's about the, the sun and the moon exchanging energies and projecting those energies onto our planet here. It's not about blocking the sun. The, the, the cosmos is very intelligent. She knows we need the sun. So why she, would she voluntarily block the sun for no reason when she knows our planet needs it? Exactly. Don't make no sense. It, it's, it's, it's to send certain types of energies onto the planet. Okay. All right. All those eclipses are for a reason. They're all for a reason. Okay, they're all for a reason. They're exchanging different types of energies. Okay, they're exchanging different types of energies on the planet. All right, okay. And from my understanding, well, what I'm understanding is is that is that the, the what, what, I'm, what I'm understanding is that the moon is sending certain energies to the sun, and 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 the energies and information from the sun is going into the, into the moon, and the moon is projecting that energy down here. Okay, and, 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 and for you guys that don't understand this stuff, you really need your pineal gland or your third eye active to be able to see a lot of this stuff because a lot of you guys are just sitting there taking in information and not doing the role. You're not doing the part. You're not, you know, and that, and that goes for everybody that's, that's not doing it. Now would be the best time to start doing it, trying to find ways around it. We'll talk more about that later on. And uh, yeah, you know, we got to get the ball rolling. You know, we can't be playing around with this stuff, people. We can't be playing around with this stuff because it's a critical time right now and we have to make sure that we're, you know, cognizant and aware of what's going on, you know? Oh, somebody else asked me something else also. Somebody asked me this. Somebody asked me, so, like, the moon, if, if, the, if the moon belongs to us, can we ever go there at some point? Of course. 
okay? The reason why all these planetoids are showing up and they're staying in certain places, you're starting to see like another planetoid on top of the sun and stuff like that. You're starting to see others. It's because we're moving closer and closer to these planets. And these planets are moving closer and closer to us. This used to be a community of planets in this sector of the galaxy. It used to be a community of planets. We used to go from to and fro all over the place to these planets because we used to live on them. Okay? All right? Okay? And I need you guys to understand. And, and by the way, for uh, there to be uh, pyramids and, and, and other structures on the moon, when we talk about that the moon, there's a very good chance that the moon could have been a part of the earth. We ain't kidding. In fact, you know, when you look at those structures and stuff like this, it could mean that somebody was on the moon and started building those structures and was living. Because anywhere you see pyramids, our people was living there at some point. Okay? Pyramids, that's our MO. That's our MO. That lets you know we was there. Okay? So, so yes. Yeah. Okay? All right? And, you know... You see all kinds of strange structures there. I mean, look at Antarctica. I mean, look at Antarctica, for example. You see all kind of pyramid mounds. There's all kinds of structures. Then we're the mound builders. You see all kind of pyramid structures over there. I mean, you know, they, they don't, they're not going to tell you guys this, but you know, when when we're dealing with the corporeal man, you know, the man that was made with the the, the, the man that was you know made in, in with the flesh body, you also have the the the, the one that's non-corporeal the, 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 which you uh, refer to as your energy your energy self the way we were created in energy and the way that we're created in flesh is completely different the first man was created near you know, uh, in that sector you call the moon okay that's why you got you see um uh, you see a face mask on the ground you see a pyramid structure up there it's because you had individuals living there okay all right all right, you know, like I'm, I'm just trying to let you guys know what it is. The moon ain't got nothing negative to do with our people. In fact, it's actually quite positive indeed. Okay. All right. Now, now, why do vampire movies and all this other stuff dealing with the moon and all this other stuff? What is that connection about? Well, here's the thing, though. The reason why in these movies, like. I don't know, like, like Blade and stuff like this. You know, they, they always talk about silver killing vampires and all this other stuff. It's because silver is directly connected with the moon that we just talked about. The moon is directly connected with silver. That metal called silver. Silver kills the vampires because, see, when, when you look at a crescent moon, the moon's energy, the moon's glow has been lessened. And the more it gets lessened, the less of a connection that these uh, uh, lower ones have. See, 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 because you have to understand. You have to understand something. Let me explain this. See, silver kills them because it's directly connected with the moon. The moon is not, okay. The, you see the moon this is an energy that kills parasites off that's why the parasites cannot land on the moon because of the energy that the moon presents we have that energy within us a lot of us just don't know how to cut, get it out of our bodies and utilize it all right the moon is directly responsible for the uh, connection with all forms of liquid liquid bodies on the planet, even our bodies. Okay? And this is why I say to you that the connection that you guys have with the moon, the moon is even also connected to your psychic abilities and stuff like this. It's even connected to that to some extent. It is. And this is why, you know, these, you know... People in the movie industry and all this other stuff, they give reverence to the moon because they, they know that the moon is also a transformer. This is why they made that movie called Transformers and stuff like this. And, and the moon, okay, the moon 
it can also have a direct effect on the carbon dated people on the planet. It can actually help y'all morph and mutate and transform over into a, another form. Okay? The moon can definitely do this. Okay? And this is why, you know, th th this uh, lunar energy, okay, it can affect... It can affect the uh, the matrix construct that we living in in a certain way to where when it when it formed when it forms up with the sun, the energies that's coming off of uh, off of each one, they're like polar opposites in a way, even though they are plasma. So those two halves coming together can directly affect our people in an extremely positive way. And this is why they want to block out the sun. They want to do everything that they want to do. Because you have to understand, in these movies, also, they show you that the moon kills off the parasites. So how can the parasites deal with the moon in a way of domineering control to where they own the moon when the moon is made out of silver and the silver is killing even them? You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Okay? Now, the demons and all this other stuff, they made the moon. They Because, see, they know what the moon represents. So, they made the moon a, um, a, a direct representation of their control over the planet. Because they know that the moon controls certain uh, parts of the planet. So, they want to control the moon to feel that... They have control over the planet, and they don't. They never did. They never will. They just they're just temporarily occupying the planet. Okay. When you have a so-called crescent moon, okay, and stuff like this, you notice that in these werewolf movies and stuff like this, like werewolf theology and stuff like this, werewolf mythology, you see that when you have a full moon now, this person turns into a, a werewolf, a, a mighty powerful creature. But when the moon is lessened or when the moon is completely you know done with its with its phase the person shifts back into a normal form they what it what it really is is is, is not that the moon is turning you into a parasite that no 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 the real truth is is that the moon's power is directly responsible and and connected to a lot of your psychic self and your psychic power the moon can actually enhance your psychic power when moon gazing, people. In case you didn't know that, the moon can do this. Yes, it can. And that's why in these, they show you these werewolf movies. You see this guy transform into a mighty, powerful creature. It's because the moon it has this uh, this luminescence. This uh, what they call uh, this is why they 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 scared of the eclipse. Okay, this is why they're 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 scared of the the the, uh, the eclipse because see the thing is is this when you get an eclipse on the planet, the eclipse can also do something to where because the moon and the sun are together, it can do something where the energies can hit you guys on the planet and actually can help you shift over into your immortal forms also. This is why they're scared of the um, the aurora borealis because the aurora borealis is directly connected with the moon and the sun in some type of way. You understand? All right. You understand what I'm saying? Um, see, now another thing is, is this too. Now, what I was trying to tell you guys about the moon and the relationship with that and the vampires and the archons and the demons. See, a lot of these demons, they don't have, they don't even have like melanin. They don't have, they don't have like a lot of these demons. They had their carbon stripped from them. Like your Draco reptilians and stuff like that. You have other types as well that don't have no melanin, right? A lot of these demons cannot come out in daytime when the sun is out. So a lot of them can only come out when it's nighttime. Is every single reptilian the same? Some of them have melanin. Some of them can come out in the daytime. But a lot of them can't. A lot of them can't. Okay? And they can't come out in the daytime. So they hang around in the fourth dimension in caves and stuff like this. And they hang around until it's time to come out and start fucking bothering somebody or something like that. This is why they tell you that the, this va the vampire, this parasite, likes to come out at night and stuff like this and kill people and kill and eat children and all this other crazy shit. So that's why they give so much respect to the moon because the moon is the energy that they need 
well, not necessarily the energy they need, but the, the energy that the moon, it comes around the time frame when the sun is not out. And this is why they have so much respect for the moon over the sun, because the sun does not allow a lot of these parasites to move around freely. They got to stay underground and stuff like this. But when the moon is out, it's what? Nighttime. So guess what? A lot of these things that get burned by the sun, they can come out at night night and run around and attack and try to, you know, harvest people and try to kill up everybody when, when, when it's nighttime. And this is why they say that the moon has some type of connection with harvesting souls and stuff like that because it doesn't. But the thing is, is that the, the moon directly doesn't have a relationship with that. But because the moon comes out at night, that's the reason why DreamWorks and all this other, all, all these other people and all this other stuff, they want to make it almost look like as if the moon has some type of direct relationship with harvesting souls. No, they just pay homage to the moon in that, in that way out of like <laughs> some type of like sick love hate relationship with the moon. Okay? All right? They want to make the sun look positive. And, 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 and the moon look bad and stuff like this. And then they want to make you guys think that the moon is where the demons actually are. And they're just up there just monitoring you guys and just killing y'all and doing all kind of shit. No, that's not what's going on. Okay? They have different Archon harvesting bases in different locations in the fourth dimension. Yes, they do. But it's not, it's not on the moon. And they did try to set up a base on the moon. But when they realized that they couldn't do it, they had to get the hell up out of there. They been tried that on the moon. Oh, how, how perfect would it be for them to just be right there next to y'all and fucking with y'all all the time? And there's nothing you have to do about it. Now, let me tell you something about Star Wars. Yeah, because we're going to be dealing with Star Wars. I'm gonna, we're going to be dealing with Star Wars. Star Wars, when they talk about the the uh, that planetoid that looks like the moon, dealing with the dark side and, and Darth Vader and uh, Palpatine, I forget what they call that, the giant spaceship that looks like, a, like the moon or whatever. Is the Death Star. They call it the Death Star. That had y'all thinking that the demons was there somewhere. The reason why they call it the Death Star is because they know that our people are in those planets and they're trying to come out to kill the humans that are on this planet. Yes, the Anunnaki people, the warriors of the dark side, the rulers of the dark of this world, the rulers of the dark energy, okay? The dark kings and queens, the, the peoples of darkness, the people, the controllers and, and, and the manipulators and the amplifiers of darkness, the dark kings and queens of darkness, those individuals who use the power of the dark side are trying to come into this matrix reality construct, which is your third dimensional corporeal world, and they're trying to come here to kill off and give death to the the invading species, which is your humans that are here on this planet right here. That's why they call it the Death Star, because it's very close by and warriors that want to give death to those who came here to kill up their people and enslave the Anunnaki race and all this other stuff. Your death is approaching. And that's why you've got the blood moon going, doing what it's doing, because it's taking in all that information of all the blood, of all the people you get, you, you guys killed, because y'all brought death to this planet here. And that's why you're destroying nature, deforestation, the water supply fucked up, GMO food, the unnatural shit that y'all doing, all this bullshit y'all doing, casing up the sky with, with clouds and, 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 and artificial freaking weather, and, and, and all this weather manipulation, and, and these fog machines, and, and all this chemtrailing, all this shit y'all doing. All this shit y'all doing. Y'all brought death to this planet. So now the people that are on that star, that, that, that I like to call it stars and all this shit, it's a planetoid, man. They're going to come up from that planetoid and they're going to, and they're going to bring death upon you. And there's a lot of them that's out there that y'all can't see. Okay. I'm just letting y'all know, this is what it is. This is what it really is, man. Okay. All right. Just letting y'all know, this is what it is. So these are all the questions that I had, and this, that was my input on the subject. Uh, you can hit me up at kevincabrero107 at gmail.com. Uh, my, my information is on the bottom below. And um, this, this, this is what it is, people. This is all I have for you guys today, or tonight, rather. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you guys hit me up on the emails. You know, you know, and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Is your boy Serious Inner Temple Spiritual Network? We take care of the second video for this uh, season four. We've now taken care of the second video, and um, I'm, you know, I'm thankful for the the uh, the uh, the patience that you guys have. You know, thank you for being patient. You know, doing this work is not easy, especially when you have. YouTube and all this other algorithms and all this other stuff. I had a second video and that second video got, you know, they, they, they couldn't handle that one. I was dealing with COVID and stuff like that. And they got a problem with that. And it's just, it's just irritating and annoying. Okay. So I'm giving you guys this video right here. And, uh, hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe to your boy, Serious in the Temple and I'm out. All right. Thanks for watching. Serious out.